Alrighty. And my camera still seems cloudy and I don't know why. I don't know why it looks like that. Let me change positions with my phones. There we go. Hey, 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 Facebook. I'm going to give just a few minutes and let some people get in here. I'm going to invite some people. Um, this is my second time going live on this Facebook page, so I'm excited to bring you guys some value and some content that you can use immediately because I teach from a place of practicality. I want to teach you. I want you to take the information and I want you to go apply it and I want you to share with me um, the results, the difference that you see. And I think it's only fair to mention that results are not always in the beginning in the form of money because you can't have an exchange until um, you have shown value to someone and they want to purchase what you have. But you have to um, first be engaged with them. And so today we're talking about five reasons, count them, one, two, three, four, five. I can go on, the list is very long, <laughs> but I'm going to hit the five main ones that just came to me right away. Five reasons your business is not making money and how we can course correct. I'm going to help you fix the issue, right? So I'm not going to just tell you what's wrong and why it's not working and hammer you down on that I'm gonna help you fix the issue I'm gonna give you practical steps tips information that you can use to actually course correct fix it um, and get it right so that you can make money because we're not in business for the sake of being in business we are in business to profit yes um, so I'm just gonna give a few more moments I'm inviting some people so if you hear some tapping on my phone that's me inviting people and I can't see you guys that are coming in just yet because I'm on a different screen. But give me just a moment uh, because I am new on this particular Facebook page. I was live yesterday. So if you missed that, please go back and watch it. And I will give a brief introduction as to who I am and what it is that I do. Um, I'm just going to give it about another 30, min 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 seconds and let Facebook make some notifications that I'm live. So everyone has a chance to get in. And if you happen to be watching this on replay, go ahead and um, you can forward fast forward about a minute if you like. Um, but we'll be getting started here shortly. And also, please put in the comments that you are watching this on replay. If you would share this out, I appreciate it. Um, I have my Instagram up, the mom genius over on Instagram. If you want to watch from Instagram, you are welcome to do so. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started here in another five, four, three, two, one. And I know it's late on the East Coast. Um, I'm going to see what time works best for you guys or I can start coming here on this Facebook page on a regular uh, interval. So I'm just trying out some times and see what works for you guys. Um, this is my second Facebook page. I have a whole other Facebook page. Um, but I'm going to be specifically coming to you over here on helping you make money online because that's what I do. Hello there. Is it Mar Tez? Martiz. Martiz. I don't know. I hope I got it right because I'm terrible with names. So forgive me if I didn't say it correctly. You can let me know the phonetic spelling of it if you like. Hopefully I said it correctly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And for those of you who don't know, um, I always say a little brief word of prayer before I jump into my lessons and my teaching. So I'm going to do that now as we continue to let people get notified and come on in the room. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for being able to come together on a platform such as this um, that has technology that's allowing us to reach people all over the world with our products, services, um, information, digital products, our speaking, motivation, inspiration, and encouragement. And we just ask that you edify what it is that we are bringing to the world. You said in your word, you have given us the ability to get wealth. Um, so you want us to be able to profit from the things that you have given us purpose and talent to do. And we just ask God that you will continue to build us up give us direction on what we need to do with your holy spirit guiding us along the way letting us do the right thing the right way at the right time so that we can not only profit but that we may be able to impact and change lives in the mighty name of jesus i thank you i pray this prayer as humble as i can amen 
All right, you guys, so five reasons why your business is not making money. Now, if you know someone else that is in business, maybe you have a good girlfriend, a friend, a family member, sister, auntie, cousin, coworker, maybe somebody in your network marketing business that's partnered with you. And they're not making money. They're not making money in business. And maybe you're not making money in business or you're not making the money you want to make. Maybe you're making money, but it's not the amount that you want to make. Maybe you're not hitting your monthly goals. And if you don't have a monthly goal and you're just out here kind of shooting it in the dark, hoping to get paid, hoping someone signs up, that is not a business plan. That is not a marketing plan. That is not a strategic plan. So I'm going to talk to you today, five reasons why your business is not making money. And then we're going to talk about how to fix it. Um, for each point, I have a solution. Some of them I may have more than one solution but my goal is to see you win and I'm just going to share really briefly a little bit about myself um, for those of you who didn't catch my live stream yesterday was the first one I did on this um this channel uh channel this uh Facebook page hey everybody hey Nakima hey uh is it Janine I hope I'm pronouncing you guys' names right my goal is never to butcher anybody's name but sometimes I do so my name is Shayla Smart. Um, you're on my page. It probably says Shayla Jones. That is my maiden name. My married name is Smart. I have two Facebook pages. So um, I had to distinguish them somehow. So my name is Shayla Smart and I am the mom genius. Well, what does that mean and why? So I have figured out over my last seven plus years online how to strategically go from a work at home mom to a online entrepreneur and be able to have the lifestyle, the freedom, the peace of mind and the time freedom um, that I desire for my life and for my family. And so I also teach other moms and women how to do the same. I know a a lot of you want to stay home a lot of you may be at home but you're not making money and you want to learn how to make money online or some of you um, may want to be able to travel more you may want to just be able to save more save for college for your children you may want to do some things that don't require you having a nine to five. Now, while I'm all for that and I'm all about helping you transition, I do not believe that you should up and quit your job until you are at least two to three times ahead in income from what you were making. So if you made $40,000 at your job, you need to have made um, 80,000 to 100 and what would that be? 80, 40, 8, 9, 10, 120,000 dollars from your thing before you're able to leave your job and you're saying, Shayla, that's crazy. But it's possible and I am a witness. Last year I built a multiple six-figure company um, all on Periscope. If you don't know about Periscope, it's something similar to Facebook Live, but it's an app. You can go look it up in your app store on iPhone and Android and um, Periscope allows you to speak to people all around the world. It's not just your friends and followers you reach people all over and they choose to come into your broadcast according to your title and once they get to know you they come in according to your influence and your value and I built my six figure plus business all on Periscope and I built it in five months six figures cash that's one hundred thousand dollars plus it was actually one hundred and five thousand dollars in five months that I made completely absolutely in cash um, I'm not telling you that to brag I'm just telling you to let you know that I know a thing or two about doing business online and then if you go over to my YouTube channel, The Mom Genius, you can check out some proof where I show you how I made another 19000 plus dollars um, in a year all in my sleep. Um, we call that sleep money when you wake up and your account has money in it. And I did not do any network marketing to do this. Now, I say that because a lot of people think, oh, well, you must have did something. I built these companies from scratch. Um, but be sure to go to The Mom Genius on YouTube and check that out. I'm on Instagram at the mom genius if anybody prefers to watch on Instagram you're welcome to come over the mom genius I'm live on Instagram as well um, and so I've been online for seven plus years I started out working from home I wanted to stay home with my children I didn't want to put them in daycare um, and uh, last year I was able to travel nine months out of the year for business and for pleasure with my two children whom I homeschooled their ages 10 and 12 and I was also able to retire my husband and he came and worked inside of my business as well and so we traveled nine months out of the year first class on every trip again I don't say that to brag I'd say it to let you know what's possible uh, because a lot of us I think the lack of money in our businesses starts because we don't believe it's possible Possible. We see other people doing it, but I'm telling you, I'm a girl from the country. I'm originally from Arkansas and I'm a girl with a GED. I've been to college. I'm pretty smart. I've just never graduated college. So my degree does not depict my income. What you did in school may or may not help you. Um, so I don't get wrapped up in degrees. I think they're great. I uh, um, commend people who did it. 
Hopefully one day I'll be able to finish mine. However, I just want to say that again, not to brag, but to let you know whatever you desire is possible, but you got to be willing to do the work. So let's get into it. If you have questions during this live stream, feel free to pop them in the um, chat. Um, I want to talk to you guys. Hey, Mary, um, I want to talk to you guys. I want to hear your questions and what you have to share. And also, let me say this before I forget. I have a free gift for you. Um, if you are having trouble making money in your business, if you have tried everything, if you are jumping from company to company and you still can't figure out why it's not working, maybe you're going from network marketing business to network marketing business. I am now in three network marketing companies, um, so I don't have anything against network marketing, um, but... When I built my businesses from scratch, I wasn't in network marketing, but now I am and I do recommend them as one of your seven to eight streams of income. Yes, you should have seven to eight streams of income. Ecclesiastics 11 and 2 in the Bible tells us we should have multiple streams, eight streams to be exact, because you never know what may happen. Um, so you never want to be relying upon one source, but you want to solidify one thing first before you move to the next thing. And because you guys are new to me. I always tell my people on my other channel, when you come into a live stream with me, you want to have one of these, a notebook and one of these. I don't play no games. I'm not on here to pity pad and to chew gum and to laugh and giggle. I'm about my business. I take social media seriously because social media is what allowed me to change my life in business. People get on social media, they post, they cuss, they act a fool, they fight and do all kinds of stuff. I don't have nothing to do with that. They ain't got nothing to do with me. But when I come to social media, I come um, to bring value to those of you who watch me, who will tune in. And I also come on here to make money because I was able to build my entire, sorry, I had hair. <laughs> I was able to build my entire business um, on social media, as I mentioned, on Periscope. And then eventually I came over to Facebook. I didn't run a Facebook ad. I didn't run a Google ad. I didn't run a Bing ad. I didn't run a Yahoo ad. I didn't run a YouTube ad. None of that did I do to build my six-figure business. So don't let people tell you that you have to do Facebook ads. I think they're important. And in some instances, it's easier for you to just run an ad and make the money than to do organic traffic, which is what I did, which was no paid advertisement, which is unheard of really to build six figures like that, um, especially in the coaching and consulting industry. Um, but it's possible. Again, I'm telling you what's possible. And I think that's one reason God allowed me to have the success that I did is because a lot of people think it has to be this way and that way, and they can't do it if they don't have this means. And that means I just, um, taught my group. It's called first stream community on yesterday. No, two days ago, Monday, no, three days ago, four days ago, Monday, I taught them how to, um, create a affiliate business with, um, Hey Mary, we have two Marys in here. Hello. Excuse me, you guys, for all the lipstick issue. Um, I taught my group how to do $50 a day three different ways. Three different ways on how you can make $50 a day. And it didn't cost them a dime to start. But a lot of you guys want to do business. You're excited about doing business, but you're not taking your business seriously. I don't care if you're in um, TLC. I don't care if you're in Surge 365 or if you're in Paparazzi Jewelry or if you're in um, whatever other Avon, America. I don't care what it is or if you have your own. If you're a credit repair person, if you are a nurse who's now teaching people about getting healthy, if you are a hair supply person, if you're on a beauty store, if you do hair, if you cut hair, if you babysit, if you um, sell chicken dinners, I don't care what it is that you do. If you are serious about it, you will see the results from your seriousness. If you play with it and you pretend like it's just a side thing that you do when you feel like it, then those are the results that you will get. Again, I am serious about business. So if you are serious about business and you're not making the money you want to make or you want to continue to grow even from where you're at and you want to scale up, stick with me. I will help you get there. I come here. I give value. I don't sugarcoat. I don't hold anything back. Um, I do have paid services. So some of you may be wondering when you hear the content that I give, how is she making money if she's giving it all away? I've been doing this for a, a good amount of time and I'm very good at what I do. Very good at what I do. I'm very good at what I do and I'm very confident in what it is that I share and how I teach. I love to teach I love my moms and women and I want to see you guys win so I'm going to give you great value um, but I do have paid services and if you're interested in getting coaching one-on-one -on -one, you can always inbox me if you're interested in joining my first streams community um, you can inbox me and see if it's a fit for you it's only $15 a month you can cancel at any time um, but the price will go up next month and I do have a free gift for you guys um, if you go to BIT hey Martin if you go to BIT dot l y and if somebody could type this in for me or i'll type it in at the end b as in boy i t 
dot l y forward slash the only three things t h e o n l y t h r e e t h i n g s the only three things it's an absolutely amazing training testimonials galore and it's absolutely free to you if you want it you can go and download it after this um again it's b all lowercase b i t dot l y forward slash the t h e only o n l y three t h r e e things t h i n g s the only three things and it's a training and it's the only three things you need to start a business and win and if you get this training you will notice that you probably haven't done steps one through three and that is part of the reason your business is not as successful as it could be because we jump into business we're excited and people are like oh i'm making thousands of dollars and so we assume thank you for the love that we can make a thousand dollars too and while it is possible for you what you don't ever take into consideration is what people did to get to their first thousand dollars I didn't wake up making a six figures in my business. I sold an ebook and in three days I made $400 from that ebook. And then I went on to scale that business with nothing but digital products to a little over $10,000 in my first 45 days. But why did I do that? How did I get that ebook in the right hands of the right people? It's because I knew my audience, which takes us to number one. Five reasons your business is not making money. Number one, you do not have a target audience. You do not have a target audience. You are telling everyone about your thing. And let me just say this. I am in love with what I do, which means in order to give you guys truth and love, I have to tell the truth that is sometimes uncomfortable. You're telling everybody about your thing, family, friends, and foes, and half of the people you're talking to could care less. They could care less about what it is that you do. Your family, they love you, but they're not thinking about you in business. They don't take you serious. Your friends, hmm, they're wondering, well, why is she doing something um, outside of working a nine to five? Because that's all they know. Again, nothing wrong with a nine to five. You should keep yours until you're able to have two to three times that income in your business. However, when you have a mindset is that's beyond people and what they can think or fathom, a lot of times the results of that is that they don't agree with what you're doing. They don't want to help you with what you're doing. They don't want to invest in what you're doing. And as the business owner, that's you. You should not expect people to uh, support you because they're your family and your friends. That's selfish. Because if you are a true business owner, then you need to do true business. And true business means finding a targeted, a niche audience. If you don't know what targeted audience is, it's the specific group of people who your thing is for. Now, let me just give an example. You you may be selling jewelry, right? And you would assume because you're selling jewelry, it's for women. Okay, it is. But that does not mean your jewelry is for every woman. I don't care if the company president said so. It's not true. Every woman doesn't want your $5 jewelry. Is there anything wrong with the $5 jewelry? No, but everybody doesn't have the same type of value placed on everything. So while you're selling $5 jewelry, this person over here may not ever be caught dead wearing $5 jewelry. And instead of getting emotionally attached and upset about that, who do they think they are? That they don't want to wear $5 jewelry. They think that they're a person that doesn't want to wear $5 jewelry. And there's nothing wrong with that. You need to focus on your target audience. Who are the people that do want to wear $5 jewelry? Because there's tons of them out there, right? These earrings I have on happen to be $600 plus, dollars, but I love a good pair of $5 earrings. I'm not bothered by that. So I would be considered a person that you could show interest to. But however, there are some people who would never ever wear $5 jewelry. And that's okay. That's just not your audience. So you can't assume that just because they're a woman or because they're in college or because they're a stay-at-home mom that they want your jewelry. And then on top of that, you can't assume that everybody that is meant to be a customer to you is also meant to help you build your team. Some people don't want to make an extra income. You don't understand it. I don't understand it either. I don't understand why people don't want to make money from home and in their sleep. But I have to have the realization that some people just don't. So then everything that I do is not for everybody because everybody doesn't want to work at home and online. Some people get frustrated with computers. And while making the money, I can show them how to do it. If they're not willing to take the steps like be on the computer and they get frustrated before they get to the result, then I can't help them, right? So make sure you have a targeted audience. And if you get that free download that I just told you about, it's an audio training where you actually get to listen to me walk you through the training. Then you get the worksheet and then you get two cheat sheets where I talk about passive income and I tell you all the tools that I use to build my six-figure business. So make sure you go to bit.ly forward slash the 
only three things, all lowercase, all words, the only three things and um, all lowercase. So number one, you need to find your target audience. Who is it that you are um, marketing to? Who is your ideal client? What is the niche that you are in? Um, hey there, Virtu, welcome. Um, who is the specific person that you are meant to serve? That's number one. Number two, and this will be up for replay. Number two, you are using mass guerrilla marketing to sell your thing. If you are an info or digital marketer and you sell information products like I sell ebooks, I sell courses, I sell trainings, etc., etc., um, that still does not mean that because I have an ebook and I think it's the greatest book in the world that everybody wants my ebook because they don't. Everybody could care less about what I wrote in my ebook. I have an ebook all about working from home and a little bit about mystery shopping. And everybody doesn't want to work from home. Everybody doesn't want to miss you shop. So I would be remiss to think, um, hey, Michelle, hey, how are you? Long time no see. Where have you been? Every, um, I would be remiss to think that everybody wants my ebook just because it's an ebook about working from home and making money from home. So you really want to make sure you're not doing mass guerrilla marketing. And when I say guerrilla, I mean aggressive marketing um, that is just like, harping on people I can't tell you how many inboxes I got yesterday to the point where I just stopped replying uh, because you can't help everybody right um, and I was getting messages on top of messages hey um, I have 400 and something friend requests right now on this Facebook channel um, and I don't accept everybody um, I just kind of filter through I look at your page and if it doesn't match up and align with me then I just don't even bother right um, but I'm trying to get through these friend requests and accept as many people as I can as quickly as I can. And it's like the more people I accept, the more crazy messages I get. So people are inboxing me, selling me their stuff. We just connected on Facebook. Why would you send me a message trying to sell your thing? Well, I know why it's because you don't know any better and nobody's taught you any better. And you're so desperate for a sale, which I'm going to get to that you are willing to do anything to make it happen. Business does not happen overnight. I just told you I've been online for seven years. I've made money online in those seven years I've had some really good spurts and I've had some really bad times but it wasn't until last year when I really got my marketing together that I was able to build my successful six-figure plus business I went on to do three hundred and fifty thousand dollars total in my business through contract sales and cash um, total in seven months but it wasn't always like that, right? I had to get to a place where I got my marketing and my positioning in place and knew what my unique proposition was. What did I actually offer of value, right? So number two is you're using mass guerrilla marketing and random reach. You're bullying people into buying from you. And this is why people shut down. So for example, maybe you're in a specific company. You sell a specific product that everyone else is selling. And by the time you get to someone and offer about your product, they don't want to hear it. They don't want anything to do with it. And it's not your fault. It's because so many people have aggressively and guerrilla marketed to them that they don't want to hear anything else about TLC. They don't want to hear anything else about um, what other business or whatever other businesses are out there right I'm just calling names they don't want to hear anything else about MCA or whatever or they don't even want to hear about what you do you say you're a virtual assistant and you help um, busy entrepreneurs with their virtual assisting needs well there's tons of virtual assistants and there's a lot of them that don't know how to market and so when they come out and they market with their guerrilla tactics it makes it hard for everybody else because now you've turned off your potential clients because you did not approach them correctly so in order, let me just give you a little tidbit on number two so we can make it plain and make sure that I'm helping you and giving you value. In order to not be caught up in guerrilla marketing tactics, you need to come to people with a um, notion that I have something that could potentially help you, but I want to make sure it's for you. And so you need to ask questions. You need to ask them um, probing questions that will help you better understand their needs. Just because they posted on social media, hey, I need an assistant, and you run and you post, hey, I'm available, you want to make sure you're a good match. If they need an assistant that's going to help them with social media, but you only do bookkeeping, then you don't want to be like, oh, yeah, I do social media just because you want to get a quick buck. That's not what you do. Don't set yourself up. Now, there's various situations, a whole nother live stream, but you want to make sure you're being true to you and what it is that you offer to your community. Number three, you're just in it for the money. You never give value. It's always buy, buy, buy. Buy my thing, buy my thing, buy my thing. Now let me make this real plain and clear because I know as women, some of us have some type of emotional uh, issues around money, right? We have a broke mindset and we think everybody else is broke too. 
some of us. So if you can't afford something, you assume nobody else can afford it. If you think something is expensive, you assume somebody else thinks it's expensive. That is not the case. That is not true. My coaching business, I was working with high end investing people. My coaching services at a minimum to work with me was $2,000. And that was for about, um, at the time, I think I was doing six weeks maybe for two thousand dollars so if you worked with me for a full year um your investment was just around ten thousand dollars um if you worked with me in a high level high end master uh, mastermind or a high level high end training program like my passive income mastery program um that was twenty five hundred for six weeks so i worked on the higher end with people who were willing to pay uh, and there were some people who couldn't understand why my prices were what they are which that's none of my business if you don't understand, right? As long as my value is there. And so um, things are different now. I don't do um, high-end coaching as much. I have some one-on-one -on -one services, but it really is up to the person. It's not up to you to assume what people can afford is the point that I'm making. Um, so because somebody over here says, oh, I charge $1,000 an hour to work with me, which I know a coach who does, and she's very good. Um, that doesn't make that any less valuable or it doesn't make what you do if your services aren't that any less valuable. You need to find your lane you need to find your audience you need to find the group of people who you serve and you need to approach them as such so if your coaching services are five hundred dollars for 90 minutes which is what i used to charge for a 90 minute session with me um and it's five hundred dollars and you are bringing value and solution then it's five hundred dollars if you haven't gotten to a point where you feel that you can charge that you need to do a couple of things number one you need to check your money mindset and if you are having an issue around money, that is a number one reason overall why you're not making money. If you have an issue about the money coming in or you're afraid to ask people for the sale, you're afraid to close the sale, whole nother training, you're afraid to ask people for the sale, you will not make money. You can't be afraid of the thing that you're doing. You are in business. Business means sales. Sales is the number one money-making industry in the world. If Walmart didn't sell, they wouldn't make money. If Target didn't sell, they wouldn't make money. If Nordstrom's didn't sell, they wouldn't make money. If Louis Vuitton didn't sell, they wouldn't make money. If Mercedes and Bentley didn't sell, they wouldn't make money. Sales is the name of the game. And if you're uncomfortable with sales, I'm going to encourage you to watch some sales training on YouTube University to get you a sales coach who can support and help you to work with someone who can help you move from where you're stuck so that you can be um, in a place of cash flow some of you are simply afraid of money or your money mindset is wrong if you are upset and angry with people because they're spending money on nice luxurious things or on whatever and you have issue with that that is subconsciously a problem for you and you will not attract money you will detract money you will detract money and you will continue to detract money it is a mindset right if you have a fear of money if you have a lack mindset if you are always saying out of your mouth that I'm broke I'm broke I already got my check and it's gone every time I get some money I got to do you're going to continue to live in that what we speak out of our mouth because Becomes true it becomes true our subconscious has no way of telling if we're joking and playing around or if it's real it's true it's true it's true it's true right the Bible says we say blessings and cursings out of the same mouth and it should not be we bless people we bless the name of God out of our out of our mouths we turn around and curse people or curse people out or we curse ourselves by speaking negative negative. and so you can't do the same thing out of the same mouth and expect anything different in your life if you are broke if you have always been broke if you live paycheck to paycheck if you're always robbing Peter to pay Mark to pay John, to get back to Mary, and if that is the way your life has been and you are in business and you want to be prosperous in your business, you're going to have to change your thoughts about money, your actions about money, and stop spending it every time you get it. When it gets in your pocket, let it stay there. Be okay with putting some money in a savings account or into the bank. Be okay with doing something you've never done to get something you've never had. If you have a bad relationship with money, if your life is a generational curse because your family has a bad relationship with money or they put credit in your name or your credit's all jacked up, whatever the case may be, you got to start taking the steps now to change that around because it will continue to affect your business. It will continue to affect your business. And these are the things that nobody talks about when they say, hey, do you want to become a partner with me in this company? Hey, when you get an idea to start a business and your idea is great. 
It could make you millions. Heck, it could possibly make you billions. But because your money mindset is off, because you have a bad relationship with money in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul, and what comes out of your mouth, you will continue to have a bad relationship with money when it comes to getting clients, getting people to sign up. I had to do a lot of money mindset work um, before money started coming in for me. And when I first started making money in my last digital marketing, in my digital marketing business, which I still have, um, I actually got overwhelmed. I had made about $1,300 in a day uh, for my digital products and I about lost it. I think I had a little bit of a, a chronic melt, uh, a, a meltdown. Um, what is it called? A um, nervous uh, breakdown that day and my coach at the time she called me just happened to out of the blue and I told her how I felt and what was going on she said oh no you're doing it all wrong <laughs> she said money making money is easy there's nothing to it but you have to get your mind wrapped around the fact that you deserve prosperity you deserve money you deserve more and if you're dealing with people I'm gonna say this and it may sting but it's the truth so let it set you free if you're dealing with people family I don't care if it's your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, friends, we've been friends forever, or foes, people who just don't like you, but you yet keep trying to impress them. Whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're hanging around, whoever you're talking to, co-workers who have a nine to five forever mindset, um, when you're talking to people about your goals, your money, the things you want to do, your dreams, and they're not receptive, you need to stop talking to them because it will damage you. It will send you on a spiral down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out why nobody's happy for me. When in all reality, their opinion about you and what you do is none of your business. Let them think what they want. Let them wonder what they want. It has nothing to do with you and your success, right? None of my family understood what I did. And when I went home um, last year to visit during my success um, of my business and how it was still growing, every single person, I kid you not, down to um, our previous pastor there, every single person's like, so... What exactly do you do online that people are paying you $10,000 and $5,000 a pop to work with you? And I had to explain to them what coaching and consulting was and that I help women and mom start businesses and be able to work from home. And I don't know that they got it or they didn't, but they were like, oh, okay. I think they just wanted to make sure I wasn't doing anything illegal or running drugs. <laughs> but sometimes people are just not going to understand what you do and that's okay. So um, you can't be in it just for the money. You do need to be given value. You need to give value, value, value. People will respect you and they will come to you because one, you're building authority when you can tell and teach something, right? And then um, people will find uh, more credibility with you when they see that you are giving from the heart. Um, you're about your business and you know what you're talking about. And then they're going to be more likely to want to invest in you because people only buy, write this down, from those that they know they like and they trust if I don't know you I don't like you and I'm likely not to trust you because I know nothing about you you have to validate to me that what you do means something to me and so people buy from those they know like and trust in the quickest way since somebody's asking I'm sure to get people to know like and trust you is to show up on video 80 plus percent of the content that we intake over the next one to two years is gonna be 80 percent from video Video marketing, video marketing, video marketing. I told you in the beginning, I built my entire business last year on Periscope. An app that some people still don't even know about. But I knew about it. I actually went out and bought a phone specifically so that I could get on Periscope. Because the phone I had wouldn't let me on Periscope for whatever reason. Because I knew if I could just get on Periscope and get my message to the masses, I would be successful. I believed in myself. But let me tell you what happened. When I first started on Periscope for several months... I would get on Periscope and talk to nobody but myself. It was me sitting outside of my van because my kids were home. I homeschooled. My kids were in the house. So I went outside so it would be quiet and sat in the van and talked on my phone to Periscope, giving value, but nobody was listening. Some people would come and watch the replay. I didn't even have trolls in there. And then eventually it grew because I was consistent and I did it every single day, even when nobody was listening. Some of you stop showing up because you don't think anybody's paying attention. Let me tell you what I know. People are always watching. I've gotten so much traffic. Why do I have 400 friend requests on a brand new Facebook page? Because I'm always putting value and content out. I'm all over YouTube, all over Pinterest. Um, I'm putting value out there, right? So people are getting to know, they're getting to like, and they're getting to trust what it is that I share. And so I'm now building an audience. I just put about 14 women into a small um, 
group, which is my first dreams community, where I'm in there training twice a month live like this. They can ask me questions and all of that, but I'm training them specifically on how to. I just taught them how to make $50 a day, three different ways inside of that training. Again, if you're interested, you can inbox me. It's $15 a month to be a part of that community. Um, but it's the value. So you got to give value. You need to sit down. Find you a topic that you know something about and write down two or three points that you can share. It doesn't have to be as long as mine. It doesn't have to be as deep as mine. But find something that you know, that you know your audience. I don't care what you're selling. If you're selling jewelry, then you need to sit down and figure out some statistics about jewelry. Oh, uh, statistics say that 60% of women feel sexier. Um, they attract more people when they're wearing long necklaces. They attract more people when they have their hair pent up and they have on long necklaces. Or when your hair is pent up, long earrings make your face look slender. Get on social media and tell the people something that will benefit them. And stop, buy my thing, buy my thing, buy my thing. Because nobody likes to be sold. Hey, Juanita, nobody likes to be sold, right? But we all love to buy. Write that down. Nobody likes to be sold, but we all love to buy. So what can you do that makes me want to buy? That doesn't make me feel like you're selling me. Well, if you tell me that when my hair is pent up and I put on a nice color rouge blush on my cheeks and I wear long dangly earrings that it makes my face look slender. Then I'm going to say, well, gosh, let me try that. And if you happen to be selling jewelry, then I'm just going to go ahead and get my jewelry from you. Right. Hey, Crystal, if you guys are just coming in, um, I have a freebie for you. And you can also watch this on replay. Um, you can go to all lowercase B as in boy, I T dot L Y forward slash. Um, the only three things, all words, the T H E only O N L Y three T H R E E things. T H I N G S It's a completely, absolutely free training. It's called the only three things you need to start a business and win. And if your business is not making money, if you're trying to make more money, if you're trying to scale, if your cash flow is, you know, all over the place. Um, Hey, Benita. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hey, Anna. Thank you guys for coming in. Um, and you need support in building your passive income. I have a bonus in there of three ways that I make passive income right now. I have three companies. One pays me on Wednesday. One pays me on Thursdays and one pays me on fr well, a couple of them pay me on Friday. I'm in multiple companies. I have multiple streams and you should too. You should have seven to eight streams of income. That's a whole nother broadcast. But we're talking about five reasons your business is not making money. And we're on to number four. You refuse to invest for your success. You want the success of other people, but you're not willing to do the work that the other people did. I'm going to say that one again. Number four, you refuse to invest for your success. So some of you have made the mistake of thinking, oh, I'm going to join this network marketing company or I'm going to start my business today with $100 and boom, that's it. Well, let me tell you, you can start a business with $100 and be very successful. The first thing that I sold online, my ebook, it cost me nothing to make it. Not even for the editing. I have all the information on how I did it for free and how in four days or three days I made four hundred dollars selling an ebook on Periscope, an app that most people still don't even know about. But I was able to do that successfully because I did what I said in number one. I knew my target audience. I knew who I was speaking to and I knew the value that they wanted and I was given value every single day up until the point that I sold that product. I never sold a thing. I was given value for almost ninety days. That was my plan to do it for 90 days. But then the demand on the value that I was given became so heavy, I couldn't give everybody what they needed. So I decided to put it into an ebook. If you're selling jewelry, if you're in the weight loss uh, niche, whatever it is that you do, if you're a lawyer, if you're a, um, a credit repair person, take your time, sit down, write an ebook. And I'm just going to give you guys this one for free. If you go over to YouTube, the whole video is there um, of how to, um, I forget the title of it. But it's back. It's back a couple months. Um, but it's about how to make money online or how to, I forget the title of it. But anyways, my hair is in an afro. That's back when I was natural. If you see it and I have a scarf wrapped around it. Um, but it talks about basically how I did my digital products and how I created my ebook. So let me just give you, this is side note. This is bonus information. I told you guys I give value. I play no games. I'm serious about business. So take this sheet of paper, flip it over. Always come to my live streams with a notebook and a pen. You will need it. Um, let me just give you real quick on how to go create some value for your business so that you can start making some money. Because if you don't have an email list, I talk about that in the free training. If you don't have an email list, you're already messed up. You're already behind the, the eight ball, right? 
I don't care if it's a network marketing business or your own personal company, you must be building a list. If you don't know how to do it, you don't know what to do, grab my free training. Everything you need is in there. It's absolutely free. It's an audio and it's a PDF worksheet. You can download it tonight, have it in your email, and you can take some time to sit down and study it when your little ones go to sleep and start taking your business seriously so you can get to profit right? Remember, I did $400 in three days. I did my first $10,000 in less than 45 days. I did my first six figures in five months cash, six figures cash. It is possible. I'm not saying it to brag. I'm saying it's possible. But so many of us don't believe. And if you miss my whole little speech on money mindset, make sure you watch this from the beginning. Um, so let me just give you these tidbits on how to go and create a ebook. Now I'm about to tell you what I'm about to tell you. There's people who are charging $97 to tell you this. And I think it's worth more than $97, but because I love you and I love what I do and I'm appreciative that you guys are here, I'm gonna give it to you for free. So now I might have to take this replay down. <laughs> um, number one, no, I'm not going to take it down. Not, not right away. Anyway, number one, if you want to create some value for your audience, for your business, I don't care what company you're in. You could be a truck driver teaching other people how to truck drive or how to start their truck driving businesses or how to, I don't care. You want to create an ebook. You want to go to number one, Google docs. If you have Gmail, you have Google docs. If you don't have Gmail, you need to open a Gmail account. When you go to your Gmail account, at the very top, you'll see these little squares made into a square. So it's a bunch of little squares, but it's in a square. Click that. And when you click that, you're going to see a tab that says Docs, D-O-C-S, Docs. Click on that, and it's going to open, and it looks like a uh, Microsoft Word or Word processor, processor, you know, where you can type. Thank you for the love. I appreciate the hearts. Um, you're going to open that, and that's going to be your template. That's where you're going to start your ebook. And if you download my training, you can see exactly how you would set up um, your ebook, just like my PDF is set up. You would set up your ebook the same with a header and a footer and whatever. Um, and so... Go there, open up the document, and write out your ebook, right? Don't worry about editing and all of that. Now, this is what I did. This is a little kind of random, um, but I use a um, software, and it's in the free free um, the free training that I'm giving you guys. Um, the link I'll put it in here when I'm done, so you, in case you guys missed the link. Um, but it's called Grammarly. It's free. Grammarly. G R A M M E R L Y. Grammarly. There's a paid version, a free version. I use the free version. It does not work currently in Google Docs. They are working on it, um, but currently it does not work in Google Docs. Um, so what I did when I wrote out my ebook. I would copy and paste my whole ebook and then I would take it over to my email, my Gmail account and open up a new email and paste it. And then all the typos would pop up. Grammarly starts to underline everything and all the words that are spelled wrong and all of that. And I edited it, excuse me, inside of my email. I fixed all the errors. Then I copied and pasted the clean edited version back into Google Docs because you want to format it, right? You're going to print it out as a P you're going to download it as a PDF when you're done. So I did that. I put the chapters. I put the title, the table of contents. I did all of that in Google Docs. How much money have I spent so far? Zero. I have it edited and I have it written. Cost me nothing. Then once you're done, you download it as a PDF. Then you can do a couple of things. You can give it away as a free offer, like what I'm doing here um, with my training, or you can put it out for pay. I created an ebook all about working from home. Um, it's called... Um, how to find legit work at home jobs and enjoy the freedom based lifestyle or something like that. I don't remember the name of my book, but let me tell you where I put the book for pay. If you want to use this product to get paid, I'm telling you how to make an ebook. You can make a one page PDF of information. You can do whatever you want. Go to a platform called pay hip P A Y H I P P A Y H I P. It's free until you sell something. And at that time I needed it to be free, right? Hey, um, Oh, you're so welcome. It's Benita. Benita. Yes, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here and listening and taking notes. I appreciate you um, and everybody that's um, hanging in here. And I know there's some people watching that I can't see because that's the way Facebook sets it up. So, hey, everybody, if I didn't call your name because I can't see it. Um, so you go to pay hit P-A-Y-H-I-P. And this is the platform where you're going to upload your PDF, your free PDF that you have created, which is your ebook or your report or your whatever that you're sharing. You're going to upload it to pay hit. When you sell something, you'll get a link and you can share your link on social media. You can share your link with your email list. You can share your link wherever. Um, in your blog, if you have a blog, I also teach blogging inside of my um, First Dreams community. 
you can inbox me about that um, but when you share your link and somebody purchases from your link it's gonna automatically have them pay through PayPal you need to hook up your PayPal it's gonna ask you for your PayPal email just put that in there um, it's gonna automatically um, they're gonna click on your link to buy your ebook because you put it on social media hey you guys I got an ebook 10 ways to save ten dollars a day and they're saying, oh my gosh, I want to save $10 a day. Let me get this book. And it's free. Let me get it. Or it's only $10 or it's $5 or it's $20, whatever you're selling it for. I don't care if you sell it for $100. Whatever you're selling your book for, right? They're going to click on it. It's going to take them over to pay hip. And it's going to say, okay, here's the price. Check out. They're going to put the, click the button to check out. They're going to put their debit card, credit card in. And then it's going to say, okay, your download is being sent to your email. You are asleep taking a good old nap. I love a good nap. You're taking a nap. And this person is paying. This is money in your sleep. This is passive income. Um, and so they buy this book. They pay it. It goes over to their email. PayPal takes the money. Um, PayHip takes the money from them and gives the money over to your PayPal. The money automatically goes to your PayPal. Then PayPal turns around and sends PayHip a fee because there's a fee for using PayHip as your platform only when someone buys. So it's like 50 cent or something, um, depending on the price of the, the thing you're selling. So then PayPal sends PayHip 50 cent. So you're going to get a couple of uh, receipts. You're going to see that somebody bought. It's going to give you the information of the person that bought. And then PayHip is going to have their receipt of where you paid them or PayPal paid them for you. That's it. How much money did you spend to have that all happen? Nothing. How much money did you make? Well, every time somebody buys whatever the price of your thing is, you made that, right? Mm -hmm. So that is how you cre can create your first digital product. And it doesn't cost you anything to do it. You don't have to pay for editing. And it may not be perfect. But what's more important than perfect is the value, the knowledge. So that was a whole nother live stream on digital products. I have a very detailed video over on my uh, YouTube, The Mom Genius. Search The Mom Genius on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe. Don't go look at my videos and don't subscribe now. I'm doing a contest. Once we hit 500 people, everybody that's subscribed is going to be put in a drawing and I'm going to do a giveaway. So anyway, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like over there. But go watch the video. Just scroll back for it. I forget what it's called. But I think it's called something about digital products. I don't know. I go into more detail, but that's the gist of it, right? So you can take what I just showed you right now. You can go create that ebook tonight. I did my ebook in three days. Three days. You can do it sooner. I've written ebooks in um, just a couple of hours. I have a whole nother ebook for my whole other blog and other stuff that I did in less than 24 hours. <clears throat> so it doesn't take long. If you know the information, something that you're good at, maybe you're helping people get scholarships, whatever it is that you have value to share, put it in the ebook. If you want to add pictures, put some pictures in there. I've helped countless women do this, right? And then this is a great way to start making money online. If you have no business, but you want to have an online business, this is a great place to start. Start with an ebook. And it costs you nothing up front to make it. Create that ebook and market it out on your social media. Talk about the value of why people want to buy or want to get their hands on that book, right? My ebook, I started selling it at $10. And once I saw the demand for it, I bumped the price up to $20 and I sold even more. So don't be afraid of the price. But $10 is a good place to start if you're looking for suggestions on price. So that's number four. You refuse to invest for success. Um, and investing could be very well doing what I just told you about the ebook. Um, but it also could be you need a coach. You don't need another um, online class or another uh, a webinar. You need to pay for someone to sit down and strategically go through your business and give you step by step by step on what you need to do and help you. Um, get to the next level. My business that I built six figures was coaching and consulting, helping moms and women get strategic about the businesses um, that they said they wanted and how to really market and put together a plan that would allow them to make money in their business, not just um, a bunch of fluff, right? So you got to be willing to invest. Sometimes that is an ebook. Sometimes it is an e-course or a online course or a training. Um, and sometimes we buy things and buy things and buy things and we never do anything with the first thing we bought. Sometimes you just need to go to Audible and get you a book and sit down and listen to it. I'm listening to a great book right now called Passive Income Something. It's blue and yellow. I'll try to put the picture up on my Facebook after this if I don't forget. Um, but it talks about all these ways. I think 13 or 14 ways that you can make passive income. And while most of them I know about, I love hearing it because he breaks it down so strategically. If half of the people who want to do business online would just open and read that book, and do the work, you will be having empires. You're wondering how people are traveling around the world and they don't seem like they ever go to a job. They ain't got no job. They ain't got no work. It's because they don't. They work online. 
they are nomads and digital entrepreneurs and if that's the lifestyle you want you can do it maybe you just want to make a little extra money it's possible but for what you don't know and what's taking you a very long time to get there you want to get with somebody like myself that has been there has done the work has made the mistakes has lost the money um i invested close to oh gosh probably somewhere around the seventy five thousand dollar mark in myself last year with coaching I had about four different coaches last year. I came to a total of about $75,000 worth of coaching cash money, like actually came out of my pocket. Yeah, that's what I did. So I've invested. I know what I know because I invest and I do the work and I research. I don't wait for anybody to tell me to answer. So you need to be okay with investing. You want the success of others, but you're not willing to do the work. And it just doesn't work like that. Everybody wants to be a, a millionaire. Everybody wants to be a thousand. Everybody wants to make their first six figures, but nobody wants to do six figures worth of work right so you got to get out of that mindset and lastly number five you simply don't know how to market five reasons you are not making money in your business number five you simply do not know how to market um you're not consistent with your live streams your ads or showing up about your business um or you offer too many things with no plan no direction and no execution Again, this is going to be on replay, but I'm looking over because I have my notes here. Everything that I just told you guys, except for the book thing, that was a bonus, are here on my notes. Look at that. One page of notes. Plus, I know it in my head, so I don't have to write too much, but I want to stay on track, so I write it down because I'll get off track. Um, but number five is you simply do not know how to market, and that's okay, but it's not okay to continue not to know. And to continue just doing the spaghetti against the wall thing, hoping something sticks. You got to make a decision that the business you say you want, the lifestyle you... Last year in 2017, this time, April 2017, what did you say? What were your plans? What were you hoping to do? Were you somewhere vacationing? Thinking, oh, I want to start a business or I have a business and it's not where I want it to be. So hopefully I can get it there. But instead of investing the money into your business, you went on vacation. And I love a good vacation. My children are getting spring break this weekend because I homeschool so I can pick when and where we do whatever we do. So we're going to take spring break. Tomorrow's their last day. We're going to, um, they're going to have a half day of school and we're going to start spring break tomorrow. We'll be on vacation. But guess what? This thing right here that you can't see, but my phones are sitting on is my laptop. These two phones will be going with me. This laptop, if anybody messages me tomorrow, guess what? You're going to hear back from me. It may be a little delay, but you'll hear from me. If you message me on Saturday, there may be a delay, but you'll hear from me. If you message me on Sunday, you'll definitely get a delay because I don't do business until after church on Sundays. Uh, but you'll hear back from me. Why? Because I take my business seriously and I'm going to take my laptop and my phone and I'm going to go do business. There's a time to shut it down. But right now where I'm at and what I'm doing and what I want to build, I'm not in a shutdown time right now. I have a strategic plan that goes all the way into 2019. And in order for me to reach those goals, I got to do the work now. And then in 2019, the plans that we've put together for our household, for, our, for my business, um, I'll be able to execute those things and enjoy them. And maybe by December, I can take the month of December off, right? But right now, I'm not worried about taking off. I'm not worried about that. And I'm going to still go and enjoy life and vacation or whatever, but that doesn't mean I stop working. Some of you get confused with, oh, I work so hard and I'm going to take a break. You ain't done enough to take a break. If you want to go on vacation, go ahead and go. But take your laptop with you and take two or three hours out of your day or get up early on your vacation or go to bed a little later on your vacation and do some work while you're vacationing. You can live life and because I believe you can have it all. I know I get a lot of debate on that. I believe you can have it all, but it's at a particular juncture. It's different for everybody, right? You got to be willing to do what it takes to have it all. So number five, you simply don't know how to market. So you're not consistent with your live streams. I am going to preach live streams until they make it non-existent, which we know is not going to happen. I'm on live on Instagram right now. Be sure to follow me, The Mom Genius, over there on Instagram. I have three different Instagrams, but this one for money making is The Mom Genius um, over on Instagram. And I'm live here on Facebook, right? And then I'm live on my other Facebook. Like, I'm always live. I built my business last year completely, absolutely organic traffic going live every day. And then there was a point where I went live a couple times a day right this is my second live stream today I did three live streams yesterday um, for different groups and different things that I have going on but you got to show up I know you don't want to be on camera you don't nobody care about it but you I got a hair rag on right now because my hair is not what I would want it to be but that doesn't stop me from getting on camera I'm cute hmm. I'm cute enough to get on screen right I don't care what other people think I just don't because caring what other people think will keep you broke it will keep you broke. So you need to be on live stream. And you need to be live streaming five days a week, if not seven. 
Mm -hmm. And then once you get an audience established, you can go down to four days or three days or whatever you want to do or every other day. But right now you need to be finding the time and I am going to encourage you to find a specific same time every day so you can build up some consistency and people know when to expect you on. Right. And then you need to be live streaming every day, bringing value. You can't afford to do it any other way. If you have the money to do paid traffic, then you may not have to live stream. You can do completely, absolutely paid traffic. But what I know for sure, because I specialize in newbies, is that you don't have money for paid traffic. And even if you do have the money, you're going to lose it with Facebook ads because you don't know how to target correctly. So you're going to be paying for nothing. So the next best thing for you to do until you learn Facebook ads or pay someone to do Facebook ads for you, because that's always I pay for everything I don't know how to do. I pay somebody to do it for me. Some things I do know how to do. I'm not a technical person. I know how to put together landing pages and opt-ins. This freebie that you guys are getting, I put that together. But I have somebody who can do it for me. I just happen to know how to do it, and I just went ahead and got it done. But I can pay somebody to do it for me because they can do it faster than me because it's not my specialty. I know how to do a lot of technical stuff. I just don't like to, so I pay for it. But for those of you who don't have the money to invest to do it or you don't think it's valued at a high enough cost to invest to do it, and you got to do it yourselves, you got to do live streaming. You just have to. We're in a, a digital age, and people buy from those they know, like, and trust. Remember that? Did you write that down? Know, like, and trust. If I can see your eyes and your face, I can see your gestures, your sincerity. I understand that you're a real person. I understand that you're going to be on this live stream every day. So if you're scheming, scamming or doing something, you don't have no business. I know I can come here and blast you. Right. I know I can email you. I know how to how to get in contact with you. Right. So I know, like and trust you because I can see you. So you need to live stream. Number two, if you are running ads, you need to be running and making sure your ads are targeted. There's Google, there's Bing, there's Yahoo, there's Facebook, there's YouTube, depending on the industry and what you do. There's Instagram, there's Pinterest, Pinch, Pinterest, Pinterest, and there's Twitter. Everybody got ads. I don't even know Periscope. I think they had them for a while, but I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but pretty much everybody has ads, right? You can get in front of the masses through ads if you're willing to pay or pay somebody to do it. Um, and then you need to show up consistently. Even when you're not live streaming, you need to be posting consistently. How many times a day? Well, I took some people on a challenge last year, some of my ladies, and they were pissed off at me. And I was okay with it because my business was making money. I was trying to help them. Um, but they were too concerned about what they didn't want to do, some of them, instead of doing the work. And so um, my Instagram is going to time out. But I'm wrapping up, so I'm not going to come back. Um, so I challenged them for 30 days to post, um, what was it, every other hour, every day for 30 days. Post, post, post. Because the way the algorithms are set up on Facebook, most people are not seeing your posts. Maybe somewhere around 11%. Um, and most of the stuff that we see, unfortunately, seems to be garbage. That's why I'm quick to block and delete people from my friends list. Um, because I want to be able to see things that are relevant to what I'm doing and I don't want anything in my space that's negative or otherwise. So make sure you're posting consistently. Um, if you can't post every other hour, post every two hours, but you need to be posting consistently that one, two times a day is just not relevant anymore because not enough people are going to see your post and make sure your posts of, of value are of value. So maybe you want to post, um, a nice quote. That can inspire someone maybe earlier in the morning when people are getting up, getting their day started. Some people don't want to go to work um, and you're posting, hey, um, you know, make today the best day ever. And don't forget to work on your own dreams. Something. I don't know. That was just made up. But something positive. Right. A Bible scripture, whatever it is that you do. Right. Um, post a quote or something in the morning and then maybe by mid morning, noon, lunchtime, depending on the time zone you're in. Be mindful of other time zones as well. Um then you want to post something that is going to be something to kind of jolt people like, um, are you tired of doing the same thing every single day? I have an opportunity that could change your life. Um, something, something. And maybe you put inbox me for more details or something like that. Or maybe you're selling whatever you're selling and you put that out there. And then the next post that you post may be um, something funny, right? Something to get into the end of the day, making people laugh. And it doesn't have to be in this order. I'm just giving you guys some tips. Um, then you want to post something hilarious or something funny, a funny video, something that's not offensive. And this is another thing. You guys, I take business on my social media serious. Everything I do in business on social media is serious. I don't get on social media to play and to kiki and to laugh. I'm really not trying to make no new friends. Um, the friends that I have, I'll call them or text them if I want to talk to them. We don't talk on Facebook. I don't talk to my friends. Barely my family sometimes will say hi, some of my church members on Facebook. But if I want to talk to you, I'm going to text you or I'm going to call you. I'm on Facebook for business. I'm on social media, period, for business. I'll have fun, but I'm on here to do business. So I'm not really worried about 
all that other stuff, right? So I say that to say some of you, when I go look at your Facebook pages, I don't care what you're selling and if I need it and you're the only person that has it, I'm not going to buy it from you. Why? Because your page is ratchet. Just talk to myself, I guess. Your page is ratchet. It just is. And or your page is overloaded with buy my thing, buy my thing, buy my thing. And you don't have it seems like you don't really have a life because all you post is about your thing. I'm not here to upset you. I'm just here to tell you the truth. And sometimes the truth is stepping on toes. I'm just a messenger. But I'm also someone who knows what she's talking about. So I want you to take what I say for free. Because this right here in real life costs money, right? So this value right here for free, I want you to take it. I want you to go use it. If you got to scrub your page, take down posts. Um, if you got to start a second you, uh, Facebook page. I mean, maybe not that extreme. That's what I did for other reasons. But do whatever you need to do to get your page in order so that people can take you seriously. You're selling something. You got a business. You're selling an ebook or whatever you're doing. You're selling coaching services or detail services or babysitting services. But every other video you got is cussing somebody out or you posting stuff about deadbeat dads and deadbeat. What does it have to do with making money and being in business? That's negative to me, and I don't do negative. So do not see that. I'm not buying nothing from you. If you're the only person in the world that has what I need, I'm not going to buy it. And I know plenty of other people who think the same. So um, show up consistently with your live streams. Do your ads consistently if you're doing ads. Show up and offer um, consistently, but don't just buy my thing, buy my thing. And then make sure you're giving value. Maybe you're going to write out a Facebook post and say, you know, my life was changed when I joined the company that I'm in. And you don't always have to blast the company name because I'm very big on branding yourself. Because if you decide you don't want to work for that company anymore, then people are looking like, well, weren't you just with such and such company? But now... At <sighs> Brand yourself. You are the business. Jay-Z said it best. I'm a business man. I'm the business. I'm the one you're buying from. I'm the one you're coming to see. It's my value. It's my uh, personality. It's me who you're purchasing from. I just happen to have a tangible item that you can take with you when you leave my presence. But you're coming to buy from me. So make yourself the brand, right? Um, so don't always be, oh, I work for this company or I'm a part of this company or this is what I do. I'm a, I'm a, um, Accountant, I'm an accountant. I'm a, I mean, if you talk to us about numbers and you show numbers, you show testimonials and results, or you show how this particular product has helped you if you're in the weight loss industry, show that you lost some weight. Show yourself on the scale. Don't always say, buy this thing, buy this thing. You can tell people to buy your products and services, but don't let that be the leading force. You are the force behind the product, right? The product doesn't push itself. You push the product. So make sure you're branding you. Right. So hopefully what I've shared with you guys today, five reasons why your business is not making money and how to course correct has been a value to you. I thank you guys for being here and I hope you will take that little extra tidbit about the book. I'm probably going to move this over to YouTube. So if you don't see the replay here, it's on YouTube if you come back later. Um, but I'm going to leave it here for I'm not moving in tonight because right now I'm about to go eat dinner and go sit down with my children and my husband because I have been working nonstop for the last two weeks. Who am I kidding? I'm going to go sit down with them for about two hours and then i got to come back and work because I got other stuff that needs to get done before tomorrow. Um, so um, I will leave this here and then eventually over the weekend or by Monday, I'll move it over to YouTube. Um, and if you have questions, please feel free to comment in the comments or inbox me. I'm available. I'm going to check my inbox one more time before I go eat. Um, and again, if you did not get the free training, I'm going to put the link in here once I sign off. But it's B as in boy, I as in igloo, T as in Tom, L as in Lily, Y as in yo-yo, B-I-T dot L-Y, the forward slash or the backslash, um, the T H E only O N L Y three T H R E E things T H I N G S the only three things you can go and download that audio and PDF training once you put your name and email in it's gonna go um tell you to go to your email please go to your email and confirm follow the directions go confirm once you confirm you'll get a second email um just refresh and that'll be your training you can click the links and download them to your computer. Um, so you can have them for good forever. Um, so go do that. And if you are interested in working with me and learning how to make affiliate 
excuse me, and passive income or money in your sleep residual income, then you want to join my first streams community. Again, it's $15 a month. Um, you can cancel at any time. Um, the price will go up next month and eventually I will close it and not take any more people, but it's open for now. And we have two live trainings a month. You can ask me anything. We talk about affiliate income. We talk about how to build your network marketing business. If you're in one, we talk about blogging and how to monetize your blog. But if you need coaching services specific to your business, then, um, you can inbox me about coaching and um, we can have a consultation, which is free to see if um, what you need support in, if I'm able to support you. If I'm not, I will definitely tell you that I'm not. I don't just take your money just to take your money. I don't really move like that. Um, but if I'm able to support you, then I will support you. Um, so again, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. I love you guys for being here. I appreciate you and I will be back. Um, I'm going to try to get on tomorrow. I'll probably get on later tomorrow again, but I definitely will be on tomorrow. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.